gamers, of this another the Rats cast. So I'm right here as always. This time I'm coming to you from the wonderful world of Tamriel. Uh, my buddy you I know I play with has already started Cold Harbor, so I have some catching up to do. Uh, now, um, for those who know, of course, uh, I'm actually starting a little bit early, uh, about half hour before midnight, but that's okay. Um, I'm just going to set up for the midnight cast, but as everyone knows, uh, Friday the 11th is uh, the anniversary of the uh, Twin Towers devastation, and so i like to take a brief moment uh, of silence to, um, to honor all those who lost their lives that day. Um, it was a horrible tragedy that we all had to witness. So uh, please join me in that. Thank you. Thank you, guys, very much. It's kind of hard not to think of that day and not be very emotional. Uh, but let's try to push forward, okay? Our champion. Hello. Bright moons, it's good to see you. I've been conferring with this mage from the guild, working on a way to solve our portal problem. Portals have opened across Doom, allowed Daedra into the streets. I saved the sound here from being an ice sculpture, and in return, he's proposed a bold plan. One I think may give us the other. Hmm. And what is that plan? When he saw the Daedra, Isan may have raided a vault at the temple. He stole a fang talisman, a magical relic. He's attuned it such that we can focus its power and seal the portals. Oh. I'm sure the priests will be free, but they're not clear. Mm -hmm. The fang lay dusty on a shelf for many years, and its power has waned. Esan's attunement, though, has made it such that we can gather power from the Absalites. We can revitalize the thing. Got a power from that rocks, huh? How? The hard way, I'm afraid. Mm -hmm. Claw and blade and spell. Destroy the Absalites while you hold the thing, and their essence will be transferred into the relic. Once it's primed, it should be simple to seal the portal. Right. I know you have what it takes to see this through, Harry. You always had before. Kali loved that about you. You're almost as brave as she was. Since Moon Month, you mean? I am well enough. I miss my sister dearly. Since arriving at Dune, I can't tell you the number of times I've wanted to ask her a question. Wanted her fighting at my side. I honestly... I hope so. The first man seemed convinced that she would have to remain beneath Moonmark. But perhaps I walk the path. If I become me, perhaps I will be strong enough to free her from the darkness. Tari, you can be sure of that. It wasn't enough that he inflicted the dark man upon Akus or spurred the Kalogians to assault Arendia. Now he must work to shatter the jewel in the desert. Our great city team. Okay. So we had come for the fang to begin with, uh, to use, so 
now we have it time to put it to good use huh oh let's uh change our uh, taxi shall we Awesome. You did it. Bright moons hang above us. Now what? Asan left to investigate the second portal near the Mage's Guild Hall. He may have sought out the advice of his peers in the guild. They're over in the merchant district, my friend. I'd like you to see if you can find him. I need to report to the Talmud Council. The Queen and Speaker Garish Ree will want to know we've had some success here. This one trusts you to get the job done. Mm -hmm. The right means, my friend. Go carefully. This invasion, it smacks of desperation. Until now, Tharun has been content to pull the strings from the shadows, to openly attack a dominion icon like Doom. He must have a plan. Right. Yeah, this is a very, very big city. I've killed men just for one. Don't you see that? Oh, there's the steps. Oh, this is a very big city. It's easy to get confused which direction you're going in. Uh oh. That's not good. We, we have been betrayed. What happened? The sun came as the champion did. He came to speak to the guild. Magister turned on the sun. They have killed me. How did you do I this? I don't know. I heard. I heard Rhea showed something about the Tarn. Javardon must have corrupted the leaders of our hall. They ran for the hills. They must plan their escape. The totem. The totem? Rhea has a worthy totem. Used it to seal the hall. 
Always. Always said it was protection magic. But the mages. They are trapped in the hole. Kill Bea and destroy the totem. Save the mages. And this city. Hmm. So I need to go across the way. Into the inn. Perfect. Good chair chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Grandmother Banana Parfait. <laughs> uh -huh. What great names. That's the closest I get to stamina, huh? Ugh. Some higher. A lot of stops, you can't use them all. That will be coming soon, though. I need coffee and rose. And oh boy. That's a recovery, though, but still. It's not bad. And that's why you're dead. You cannot stop the forces of Javadan. When he came up, he activated the trigger. And I got caught in the crossfire, so to speak. Wasn't just sleep in the sleep of death. We'll break the ward.
Oh, nice. A very assassin's creed of me. Take a picture, hold on. Sorry about that. Now the matrix oh, are back. May. How did you get through the barrier? Speak quickly, stranger. We're all on edge. Ha! Thank the eight. I'm glad that witch got the justice they deserved. They sold their souls to Java Thang, that coward. I can't believe they locked us in here. You've saved our lives. What? Is son dead? And the leaders of our whole corrupted? I can't believe this. That dull clawed bastard Don. I would rip his throat out with my teeth were he here right now. Mm -hmm. Yes. We received word that Daedra were attacking the temple district. There must be another portal there. Go, Hallow. This guild will guard this district from any further danger. All right. So everything's back to normal. Now to get up and ride to the other side. Ah. Hello. I take it you've restored order to the merchant's district? Yes, you did. Moons, you are talented. I have the soldiers hanging back. The temples here venerate Joan and Joan, and I do not think the lunar clergy would appreciate mass bloodshed here. In fact, the cult has befouled the shrines. God caught the best. Hmm. I don't see a portal, but... I have to trust my instincts. Let's cleanse the shrines and let the bright moons shine down on this place. You see to the temples of John and Joel. The old shrine to Lord Dash still stands. I'll take care of that. Right. I'll see you there. So across the way. First, precious champion struggles in twists like a bug in amber. Your champion is mine now. I think not, Dark Main. Joe. You cannot stop the inevitable. The city is ours. Soon I will hold your mane in my hand, and my dark mane will walk the path. The soul of the Khajiit will be lost to darkness. 
I don't think so, Tharn. Dark anchor. You are too late. The city is ours. Your fate cannot overcome the master's mace. You're right, champion. Hallowed. Hey, you saved me. Right. I'll be fine. That was some damned impressive work. Hollywood, I'm sure, offered you some kind of critique on your technique. I'm just glad I have you here today. Especially for what must come next. We have pushed back the Daedra. You heard the song. He means to walk the two moons path himself. I can't... I can't put this off any longer. We must make for the Temple of the Deaths. Follow me. I'll lead the way. You Hello. would have been proud of our friends. Taking on that giant storm Atronach without my help? They're almost as brave as our rangers, you know? Mm -hmm. Uncle, you're alive. I'm overjoyed. I tried looking for you. Luckily, the moon howled, and our friends were able we're to We're proud to say we could help you during the invasion. Good luck on your path. The moon hallowed. Thank you for all you've done here today and all you will do. Thanks for joining me, viewer. And I'm proud to be standing with you. <clears throat> now then, let's focus our wits. Oh, shoot. Let's walk the path and see this through the way Kali would have wanted. Yeah, I'm, I have too much stuff on me. <laughs> okay, uh. We'll get rid of the lemon. 
my friend, and I'm proud. I'm frightened, but I won't let fear hold me back. Good. Since we were cubs, Kali and I have studied the past. I've read many accounts of past trials, what the hallowed and the candidate went through, but nothing can prepare you. I know that now. We'll walk the path together, yes. I'll be relying on you, Hallowed, to be brave for me, for her. I'll tell you all I can, Hallowed. I've read almost every tome in the Tales of the Two Moons Path series, and studied at the side of Moon Bishop Hunal himself, when I could understand him anyway. <laughs> I'm almost certain it will be dangerous, yes. Tharn promised us he'd walk the path, didn't he? He's powerful and capable of almost anything. If he has been able to walk and twist the shape of the two moons path, there is no telling what that is. According to the stories, the path is a spiritual path. We're walking into the heart of my people, the very soul of the lunar faith. Each part of the path represents something about the candidate, the hallow, and the kaju. Yes, manifestations. In the past, mains have fought in climactic battles on the path. We loved and lost seen distant shores, and spoken to inhuman spirits. Whatever we face will represent the challenges of here and now. The monks have done all the work for us. We'll just walk into the temple, and from there onto the path. I believe I read once that the whole temple is suffused in moon sugar vapors that allow for the mind to open to what can't normally be seen. Okay. Well, you know what? I need to sell stuff first, so. Hello. I don't know if there's anybody I can sell to right now. Well. You want supplies? I have supplies. Fresh down the river today. Has sugar in them? <laughs> I love the names of the Argonians. I know. I probably never use them anyways. Oh. I better keep that. Oh, cool. I'll give me some money. Okay, that should be good enough. I have to remember how to get back up there. Okay. Greetings. Even though it's not necessary to talk to him, I will be talking to everybody here. Dune is clear. The city is safe. The Lunar Champion is here. Are you ready to help her walk the Two Moons Path? Ah, oh, better read. Hmm. You've impressed even me. The Dominion owes you yet another debt. My lord? The orbs of my people go with you, Hallow. Bishop. The bright moons will guard your path. Green Lady. Our thoughts are with you, Hollowed. May the green guide your steps. 
Thank you. Seminar? Your bravery astonishes me, Hallowed. To my ears, this path you walk sounds like some kind of nightmare. Yes. And Razanda. Back from the dead. Raz would not face a vision quest for all the moon sugar in elsewhere. <laughs> but he is sure you will be fine. Oh, are you surprised? <laughs> is that no. because you tried to kill me? <laughs> this one gets that a lot. <laughs> Try to kill him, then being surprised when it does not work. <laughs> Jumping, some acrobatics. It. it was quite heroic. <laughs> Raz tried. He tried to get the other side. But the collapse happened too fast. He took a grievous injury. Raz had to rest and recuperate before he could rejoin the queen. Well, you know the old saying about what happens when you drop a Khajiit from a high place. Mm. To tell you truly, Raz was never worried. He knew you would do what had to be done. That you would come through. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Raz. Greatest Khajiit ever made. Alright. Playing a Jode. This is where things get interesting, shall we say. Ah. You have begun your journey. Ahead lies danger. For now. You face only the light of the moons. Breathe deep of the moon sugar vapors and open your minds to the power. You are deep below the temple of the dance hall. Tradition dictates that the start of your journey should be rooted in what has come before. Here you will find that the past very much alive in the moon. Simply okay. call down the light of Joan and Joan. Each of these reflectors is misaligned. Attune them to the moonlight and see what the bright moons wish you to see. Thank you, sir. Main Akuzuri, it is a pleasure to meet you. The Khajiit and their faith will be the Dominion's bulwark against the darkness. Thank you, my queen. May the bright moons guide us in our new endeavor. I recognize this moment. The day the Elden Accord was signed. The name was a good leader, Hal. A good soul. Yes, he was. It's a shame. John, the truth had spoken. Shaza, Kali. They were both born beneath the same moon. Never before has this happened. Never before have the bright moons gifted us this way. Forevermore, you will be known as the Lunar Champions. We... We understand. The main is strong, and we are... We are new. Yes, we understand. We are an embarrassment. We didn't ask for this. We were born this way. Moons be damned. Kali was so angry. We both were. The priests were never very kind to us. Hmm. But look at you and I today. Kali, I wish you were here. Joan and Joan, you have shown the way to read the regatta. This one is your humble servant. By your light, this one will lead his people. By your light, will this one give you balance to the the day of the first main. The day so long ago. Rita Ridata first became main. A controversial moment at the time, but an important moment for my people. And now the strange yellow crystal. Look up there, the top of the central pillar.
Where are we? What is this place? Have you ever seen a place like this, Hallowed? Even in my dreams, I never imagined it would look like this. Oh. I never thought I would see this place. I've seen the drawings in the oldest texts, the plain of Jod, the place where the bright moons dwell, the home of the gods. It's different than I expected in some ways. But that makes sense. What do you mean? The path is changing to suit us, to reflect the challenges we face, just like for Zibid and Jod. The Argonian Soul Reavers. Sorry, honey. Just thinking of one of the stories. Hmm. Let's just wait a moment. If I'm right, the path will show us the way. Ah, that way. You see, a vision of a wood elf. That must be where we should go. Come on, hello. We have to leave him. Get out of here. It's not safe. My people have turned on themselves. The hunt has striven everyone. I've tried to protect the Sylvanar and the Green Lady. They're not safe. No time. Since the Khajiit fell away from the Dominion, things have been desperate. The Covenant, the Pact, pressing on every front. We had no choice. At the turn of the wild hunt, the Sylvanar and the Green Lady. They're being pursued by the wild hunt. Our own people hunting us down. Please go. Save them. Save the heart of the forest. You smell friendly. Brace yourselves. Here they come! Why? Why, my love? Why is this happening? The hunt. It's turn then. This never would have happened if the Dominion had stayed intact. Damn the Eagle Banner! I'm glad you two showed up. You can help us find... <coughs> What's wrong, my heart? Are you wounded? I don't know. I feel weak. I don't know what's happening. Hold on a little longer, my love. Damn it. There's more coming. Help us! Hold this place. Got to get out of here. Follow if you would live. He'll be all right. We've suffered through worse. He's fine. He's just tired. We've been running for so long now, I don't know how much longer we can keep this up. After Akuz Ri's fall and the death of Gar Resh Ri, the Khajiit fell away from the Dominion. The other alliances moved in. We tried to make the heart of the forest beat that much stronger, but they lost hope. Me, he said the words, and the wild hunt returned to their homeworld. We roamed through the forest, drove our people feral. It had consumed them before we realized what had happened. 
that's when the chase began. Who knows? As soon as my mate wakes, we can get moving again. Then from there, I have no clue. Wait, he's stirring. What is it, my heart? Are you all right? What's wrong? What, what, what's happening? Run! Get out of here! No, love, I won't. I can't leave you. He's been turned. Get out of here before I hurt you! So hard for our people to see him dead by my own hand. We did what we had to do. This isn't your fault. This is this is Irene's fault. That witch. She had the dominion so tight that it suffocated, and now we have no more breath in our chests. It it doesn't matter. The others will find me, and with my Sylvanar dead, I shall soon follow. The heart of the forest dead, and the wild hunt rampant. This is the end. Go. There's no hope now. The Khajiit hadn't left us. But those bastard cats and the Witch Queen of the Ultima hadn't. Go! Leave us! And remember that the heart of the forest once beat within the chest of an elf. Possibilities. The text never made it sound like that. What we did, we killed the Sylvanar. The heart of the forest, the green lady is dead. It was the Khajiit. We failed them. Because here, no one became the main after Aku's reef. Let's, let's continue on the path. If the bright moons felt we needed to see the future of the Bosmer, Perhaps we shall now see the future of the High Elves. Let's hope it is not as bleak. Oh, it is. Now we follow the High Elf spirit. A path of devastation, death. Queen, I failed you. Are you all right? I'll be fine. As soon as I stop bleeding out of my side and can walk on my own accord. Actually, now that you mention it, where have you been the last few months? The Veiled Heritants, those bastards, led a revolt against the Queen. All of the Somerset Isles have risen against her. It's been all the eyes could do to keep her alive. There's not much you can do. They tracked us across country. They overwhelmed us. I'm not... I'm not going to last much longer. Maybe you can help Ross. He's up on the hill. Find him. He's the Queen's last defense.
The bright moons will see us through. I finally put you down, cat. Just try to meddle now. Ross. Ah, good. You're here. Razumdar was afraid he would have to bleed to death by himself. This one? Injured? Nobody can injure Razumdar. He's invincible. But he must ask that you talk quickly. He does not think he will be able to long. The veil is stronger now than it ever was. Where? Where have you been? The battle will turn on Her Majesty when she tried to hold the Dominion together by force of will. The other alliances took Cyrene, march on Somerset. For Raz, nothing. Raz will rest here until this Eye of the Queen closes. All that Raz has left is his oath. He swore he would protect Iran. He swore he would protect his dearest friend. Good. Good. Razumdar is tired. He... he will sleep. If he does not wake up, this one hopes to see you where the bright moons dwell. Good luck, my friend. I always hated this part of the storyline because it's so sad. Even if it doesn't come true. Food's gone. My thirty five minutes is already up. <laughs> I keep forgetting my the food's not that strong. I'm used to uh, making uh, vet rank level foods, which is usually an hour. That's my queen. The battle reeve will not win today. Everything has gone wrong. I ran. I just wanted to keep the dream alive. The dream of my Aldmeri Dominion. Yes, badly. Swords can cut. Cut pretty deep, turns out. I feel the wounds in the Dominion much worse, though. Those wounds will be the death of me. Yes, the Wood Elves consumed by rage. The Khajiit retreated into the desert. And my people, Somerset, risen up against me. By the time the Pact and the Covenant arrive on our shores, there will be nothing left to pick apart. No. I have nowhere I can go. My people have rejected me. Rejected the whole idea of an alliance with other races. The Eagle Banner has fallen. I might as well fall too. What reason is there left to fight? We've lost our heart. Our soul. And now, with my death, the body of the Dominion shall fall silent as well. Leave me, please. Let a queen die with dignity. In silence and solitude. to being able to think through my problems using my books and spells too there's no solution to this in a book 
Not if I have anything to say about it. I know what this is, Hallow. These visions. They are a future where the main does not lead her people. With strength as well as wisdom. This will not be our future. I don't think so. Walked the two moons path. The path of Joan and Joe. But there is a third moon. The dark moon. The enemy of the Khajiit. Lord Khaj, the missing god. This is the secret at the end of the path. We must travel to the den of Lord Khaj. It gets worse. Legend says that the missing god is dead. That the den, it is his body. The great emptiness of the den is a decaying corpse of a dead god. I don't know. What's that? Wait, that's my sister. After her hallowed. She led us here. Kali led us to the threshold. Hallowed, I... I've never been afraid like this before. But I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can take the last step. There's been so much fighting, so much death. Even if we walk the path through the den of Lord Kash, seeing these visions has made me realize how critical the main can be. I don't know if I'm ready. Oh, you're ready. Perhaps for you, Hello. For Kali, for the Kajiti people. Hello, we owe you so much. I don't know if I can ever thank you properly. Take the last step. Become what you're supposed to be. The den of Lord Kaj. It's even more beautiful and horrible than I could have imagined. Come, hallowed. Ah, you remember her. Shaza, I've missed you. You left me alone in the dark. Holly? Is that you? You're alive? You're safe? Of course I'm alive. Safe and sound. Your sister is safe. Her soul has been purified by darkness. Come join her. Come join your sister. No. Let her go. Show yourself, you bastard. I'll burn your flesh from your bones. Oh, you want her free? Here is your sister, free. Your sister. I'll take care of you myself. I don't think so, Thong. Dark Mane, attend me! May the shadows of your dead god imbue you with strength.
God damn it. Come on. Together, you and she have walked the two moons path to its end. No, I, I had to let you go once already. I'm not ready to lose you again. Her soul is at peace now. She has traveled beyond the path to Athenius, the light of the bright moon surrounding and guiding her. How can I trust anything I've seen? The path has shown me terrors, lies, failure. Shaza, don't cry. Tharn can't hurt me now. I'm at peace. Soon I'll be with mother and father. Please, don't leave me. with wisdom and strength you always that I love you Hallo, champion your journey is complete return now to Dune and begin to walk the next path of your life Now, I said originally when I picked her, I figured that she would be the one to save her sister. Unfortunately, that doesn't happen. I didn't want to do spoilers away, but yeah, the corrupted sister comes here, and we have to kill her. A shame, really, but that things happen. Um, the whole uh, storyline here is very, very sad, but it ends on the brightest note that the new main has finally been arisen. She will take her place and she will be a great leader because she has done, dealt with Telmoils uh, far beyond her years and had to handle things that would break lesser men or women for that matter. We did it. We walked the path and lived. I'm, I'm going to be the main. And my sister is dead. They await you as well, Moon Hallow. Come, let's... Let's see this done. And stay after the ceremony, please. I'd like to speak with you when it's all said and done. Of course. Champion, it is time. You are at the end of your path. As the Lunar Champion, you have proven yourself time and time again a leader of our people. But do you truly understand what it means to be the main? Yes, I've walked the path and know what lies ahead, and honor those left behind. You've begun the path, and know what lies ahead of our people. Are you prepared to lead your people? Yes, I accept this role in service of kith and kin. Then wear this as leader of our people, and rise, main of our people. You have come through these trials and emerged victorious. Continue the path, young one, and accept this blessing for the journey ahead. Rejoice, one and all. Long live the main. <laughs> I'm... I'm the main. Hallowed, we survived. My friend, this could never have happened without you. Your strength at Arendelle. Your wisdom at Raulkar. Your bravery at Moonmont. And here, we saved the jewel of elsewhere. Dune is safe. Javad Tarn is dead. And I have won. 
the end of one path and the beginning of another. As you well know, the path never really ends. Here in Reaper's March, I will restore the soul of the Khajiit, and you will travel on. Bright moons. Bright moons, hallowed. Wherever Joan and Joad take you next, I hope you will remember your friend Shazar and her sister Kali. The sisters and the Khajiit. They will never forget you. Ah, there you are. My queen. We owe you so much. Finally, the old Mary Dominion can truly be called an alliance. But I'm afraid there's no rest for the heroic. I have a message for you. A message, my queen. From Vanus Galerian, of the Mages Guild. As you well know, the forces of Molag Bal grow bolder by the day. Vanus believes that it is time we went on the offensive. What is your plan? I believe so, but I thought it best not to speak about it through other parties. Once again, I need you to be my eyes and ears. Razumdar here waits only for you to leave. He'll meet you in Skywatch, and together you will speak on my behalf. It'll be an honor, Queen. I will admit, Hallowed, the words of the Moon Bishop affected me deeply. But your victory here, the scent of your return to our living world, the dawn of a new day for our allies, it fills my heart with hope. Thank you, McGrilly. So now? You've done it. You've walked paths in darkness and come out the other side, into the light. Ah. Blood and toil. The new mine will do just fine, thanks to you. <laughs> ah, question. Impressive work. Very impressive work indeed. Your sharp claws played no small part in the rise of the new main walker. Be proud of your achievement, and know you have the eternal thanks of the Khajiiti people. Oh, yeah. My friend, you definitely bring the party. Mm -hmm. A new main, dead Daedra in the streets. I can't wait to draw steel with you again. Definitely. Battery. I am glad you came through in one piece, Hallow. Um, Perhaps you can help vouch for me to the Queen? She continues to make jokes about treachery. Uh, I do not like it. Hmm. Wonder why? This one will meet you in Skywatch. This one is not worried. He knows there's nothing you cannot handle. I won't go through that conversation again since I've already been, it. <laughs> been through it. Alrighty. There is still... Uh, stories to be done. Uh, you got the uh, uh, couple of caves. Uh, this whole mess over there. I still haven't figured out where this uh, storyline is. I'll have to figure it out. Um, and I still have, I'm sure, a bunch of uh, sky shards that I have not chance to uh, find yet. I'm sure if we look. Oh yeah, they're missing quite a few. I may have gone on a, a sky shark hunt. Greetings. I don't really think there's any crafting stations in this area. I don't need to go through and craft some stuff. Uh, I'll make for the uh, way shrine. Oh, 
I can figure out which way I'm going. No, that's back one way. This way. That's right. Yes, this way. Ha ha ha. Oh, Skywatch. Okay. My bad. I should know better. Now, this is the, uh, Lead us to the end of the story, as I said, as it, as it were. The Mary Dominion faction story is pretty much over, uh, but we still have this one mission to do. Give me one second, I'll be right back, guys. All right, sorry for that, guys. Ah. Let us head towards the uh, major skill. And find Roz. Ah, there's Ross. 
Seems like just moments ago we were in June, yes? It was. It's a good thing Raz is so quick on his feet. Wouldn't want to wait in on him. Like we are waiting on the group last time. Yes. Vanus Galerian of the Mages Guild requested your presence. He should be here soon. He begs your assistance with a hopeless task. He seeks to bring the Alliance leaders together for a meeting. One which they will all survive. This is insanity, of course, but the Queen tells Raz to give him whatever he needs. All right. The Queen tells Raz that you speak with her authority, yes? This responsibility is a great one. Better you than Raz. <laughs> you are aware of what we do in gold? Uh, not really. Certain communications Actually, I am, but... Made. Dangerous communications. This will ensure the safety of all. This one may have to delegate. Yes, of course. Cariel will do that. Ah, that was not so hard. <laughs> Job for Cariel. No way. Do it Why? yourself. Why? Thrush is a homicidal maniac. And Copper Daria, let's just say I'm not her favorite person. Why is Copper Daria displeased with Cariel? I may have collapsed a building on top of her. Oops. Accidentally. Ah, uh, yes. This one forgot about that. Very well. Roz will take care of it. And he will send Copper Daria your warmest regards. Apologies for my lateness. Damn it, Raz. Not <laughs> so close. Ah, <laughs> uh, Raz is too funny. Thank you for coming so quickly, champion. I've been consulting with Countess Hakruba of the Fighters Guild. Both of our guilds believe the time has come to take the fight to Cold Harbor. But this places us in a delicate political position. Well, what's the problem? Trust, as always. The Alliance leaders will never agree to join forces. And if our guilds only work with one alliance, the other two will see it as a betrayal. For both guilds, our neutrality is our strength. We can't afford to take sides. Aha. The war in Cyrodiil has been long and bloody, and all three alliances are spread thinly. They can't commit resources to an assault on Cold Harbor without making themselves vulnerable. I want to bring all three leaders together. Maybe cut a deal. Ah, oh, okay, where's that? You're in a unique me? position. You can speak with authority, but you're not an alliance leader. You're respected. You have a reputation. They may let you get a word in before they leap at each other's throats. In short, you're the perfect diplomat. <laughs> All right. I found the perfect meeting place. A neutral location far from disputed territories. An island called Sturk. I can get you an audience and to travel to Sturk. I'll do my best. That's all I ask. I'll open the portal. I think it's best that I travel with you and make introductions as a neutral party. That might make things easier. Right. Ah, uh, wait, rest. Now, as you all know, the uh, Altmer tend to be very arrogant people, and the Dumner more so. Uh, I think they carry arrogance to a whole new level. But, I sometimes think that neither of those races compare to this man, who I cannot Emmer. stand. I thank you for agreeing to this meeting. I would not presume to waste your time without good reason. We've known each other for some time, Master Galerion. You aren't known for your capricious whims. Tell me, though, who is your companion? Your Majesty, this is Queen Irene's personal representative, here to speak with you about the impending Cold Harbor crisis. So Queen Irene sends her personal champion into the stronghold of her greatest enemy. Either she has a lot of faith in you, or she's trying to get you killed. Mm. I'm intrigued. Come, 
let us speak. Bella's legs, but you are a bold one. Hmm. Even the bards of Wayrest sing of your exploits. I must confess, I had hoped to meet you one day. We sharpen our blades on the same whetstone, if you take my word. Tell me then, is it madness that drives you to barge in here like this? Or perhaps you're here to surrender on behalf of your people. If that's the case, I accept. Hmm. I don't think so. That's a bit of a dreary subject, but I prefer that over some angry line like, I've come here to kill you, Your Majesty. I'm glad you didn't say that. <laughs> so you want to talk about everyone's favorite Daedric Prince, then? What of him? Ha! I'm sorry. I think I must have misheard you. For a moment, I thought you were saying you wanted to battle a Daedric Prince. That would be especially funny if you wanted my help. So, what was it you really wanted to say? That would be utter madness. But I do like the thought of seeing that next to my name in your history books. All right. If Iren and Yoren agree to attend, I'll be there. If this is an assassination attempt, though, I'm taking you with me. Tell Carrie that I hope That went well, I think. Shall we move on? To Mournhold, where Skald King Yoren is waiting for us. I'm given to understand that his palace is inaccessible at present. And for a variety of reasons, the Tribunal Temple is inappropriate. He's offered to meet us at the Guild Plaza, shall we? Originally, uh, Vanus actually uh, told you to bow to him and be very respectful. Because <sighs> his arrogance is that great. Watch yourselves, outsiders. Give us a good reason, and the armatures will cut you down where you stand. <laughs> And shatter you. Any questions? Why Honored you? Skald King, you I am here with the personal champion of Queen Iran. Please continue. My companion hopes to speak with you about the impending Cold Harbor crisis. I have heard tales of this one. The Skald King favors the bold, even among his enemies. Come, champion, let us speak. Him, I like. I will stay your execution since you came all this way. <laughs> Choose your words carefully. I'm not a patient king. Yes, well, I am both suspicious and curious. If you are an assassin, I'll get on with it. But remember this, you're coming to Sovngarde with me. To fear death is to fear life. I am Noor. When my time comes, I will embrace it Southern Guard will be glorious. No meetings, no schemes. But you're not here to talk philosophy. What do you want? Who? The three alliances? Has magical travel rattled your brain? Speak plainly. What do you ask of me? In his words, a moot in, in their own language. Flag's army was born. If the other leaders agree, I will attend. If nothing else, it should make a good story. Now leave me before my dinner gets cold. Yes, yeah, your majesty. Greetings. I didn't think it possible. Well done! We must return and begin the preparations. We have much to do. Come.
<laughs> it's funny how Bowstone is not even in, in the thing. Can't even see him. <laughs> but that's the programming, unfortunately. Now, the Skull King is far more personal. Um, he puts on this sh uh, show of force. Uh, especially for his enemies, but when you actually do the missions and you're uh, on the Evenheart Pact, he is very human, he is very humbled. Um, the storyline of how he became king is one of um, great personal sacrifice and loss on his part. And so there's a lot of uh, baggage that came with it that he has to deal with and that you help him through. Um, and so he's uh, one of the reasons why I like the Empire Pact uh, second over the Otmeri Dominion. Um, I don't like High King Emmerich. I don't like the storyline. Uh, I like um, the uh, Red Guard King. I can't remember his name offhand right now, but. I like him. He's far more more personal. I like his that, that storyline there, and the um, storyline in in Reven's Fire was absolutely fantastic. But uh, more of that when we actually get there, huh? That's quite a ways away. Okay, Vanis, what do you say? All three leaders have agreed to join us on Sturk. Now comes the tricky part. That's the tricky part. Individually, the leaders are rational, even reasonable. Mm -hmm. Get them together and. Well, you'll see soon enough. Mm -hmm. Everything's been prepared. Are you ready to travel to the summit? Yes. Then, with your permission, I'll open the portal to Sturk. May Oriel's hand guide us all. The word has been given. A moment, please. I'll wait for you on the other side. Our representative, Captain Althari, is in charge of security on Sturk. He assures us that all is well there, but keep your wits about you. Good luck. I am. Now hopefully this all syncs together like it's supposed to. Uh, originally when I did this on the PC, my PC was kind of um, dated and uh, my internet was a little on the slow side. And so he was introducing me to people I could not see because they had not appeared yet. These are actually all people who are actually in the game at one point in time or another. Welcome to the island of Sturk. Representatives from all three alliances are gathering at the meeting place. It's just up ahead, through the ruins. I'm told they'll be arriving at the meeting site by portal any moment. After all the bloodshed in Cyrodiil, I fear the leaders won't be quick to trust one another. Hmm. Perhaps you can help them see the wisdom in cooperation. I'll do my best. I don't envy you the task. We've already assembled quite a team of experts for the Cold Harbor invasion itself. I'll try to introduce you to some of them on the way to the meeting. Lead on. Two kings and a queen with barely a thimble of patience between them. Reaching a compromise will be no small task, I promise you. Oh no, definitely. Sir. Hey, look, it's Lady Laurent. Lady Laurent, uh, pain in the ass that she Careful is. With that, you clumsy fool. Do hurry it up. We're missing everything. Uh, she's I'm never weary of your charms, Lady Laurent. Yeah, this great is charms. Valerian, as I live and breathe. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I had no idea the summit was to be held on the legendary island of Sturk. It seemed a fitting choice. It was here that the leaders of the First Era assembled the All Flags Navy to do battle with the Slode. I can't wait to see what surprises Molag Ball's realm has in store for us. We are waging war, not embarking on a sightseeing expedition, milady. Fear not, Vanus. I can take care of myself and my useless lump of a manservant. 
No, she can't. Stebbins, haven't you finished tying those bags yet? Oh, you really are hopeless. Farewell, me lady. We must dash. We're expected at the summit. She is probably the worst, worthless piece of crap I've ever met. All she does is bitch, whine, and complain about her servant, manservant, uh, or the people she hires to do whatever it was she dirty work she does doesn't do herself. And she sits outside and bitches and complains about it. She tries to uh, get some artifacts something from a temple, but the people she hired never got back to her, and now you know she's got nothing to do, and she can't she can't finish her job, and blah 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 blah. And now she needs you to go rescue, get this. And poor Stibbins, I mean, he gets the blunt of the blow of everything. Uh, there's literally, oh, I don't want to go too much into the thing, but even in, you'll see in Cold Harbor, he's just, he, the poor man. I mean, and he's like adamant, almost in love with this woman, and he does not deserve to be with this woman, or be in servitude with this woman. She is just the biggest piece of crap I've ever met, and she drives me crazy. Uh, some friends of mine, they're, oh, I love her, she's great. No, she isn't, she's a pain in the ass. Tellinger, I don't mind too much. I mean, he's, uh... Here's Tellinger, the artificer himself. Must it always take a crisis to pull you away from your toys, Telly? Vanus, your robes smell of failed experiments and your words of failed wit. Tell me, Telly, what Dwemer rubbish bit did you crawl out of this week? You really must learn to respect your betters, old friend. Do let me know when one happens by, won't you? I don't have the time or the energy, Tellinger, so I'll bid you good day. No love lost there, huh? Tellinger, um, his stories are kind of interesting. Uh, he's throughout all of uh, you kept the, the Dominion. The, green lady from Palm. You're all right. the captain in charge of security, Alfari, is over there. Um... There are various quests and missions, but it's the same thing. He sends his his lackeys in to do it, and then something goes wrong, and now he needs your help. Has the island been secured? Aye. All ships in the area have been diverted away from the island, and the wards are in place. And the Alliance leaders? They'll be here any moment. You three should get over there as soon as you can. We're on our way. Thank you, Captain. We must make haste. Now over here is Darian. I hope this invasion goes smoothly. I've got more than enough scars for one lifetime. Um, fun little character he is. Um, you meet him at the beginning of the uh, Daggerfall Covenant in one of the cities. Uh, Craiglorn, I think it is, with the werewolves. Um, and you see him throughout the, you know, various places throughout the uh, the area, uh, or. Uh, throughout the Covenant, uh, he's become quite the adventurer, and he ends up joining the Fighters Guild in the long run because he wanted to leave home. He wanted some kind of adventure, and he didn't want to just be another farmer or city guard. So he takes off to. Uh, Hi, King Emmerich of the Daggerfall Covenant. To see the world, and uh, he's funny. He's uh, a women, uh, ladies' man. He chases all the women, all the skirts. Joran Skald King of the Ebonheart Pact. We must put aside our differences and work together, or this assault is doomed from the start. How do we know this isn't a ruse? A clever plan to divert our forces while your armies take the Imperial City. I thought backstabbing was your favorite tactic, Emmerich. Please, mm -hmm. are you both so arrogant? Your weapons are children's toys compared to the horrors that Molag Wal. I will not wager the future of my people on the word of a snow barbarian and an adolescent female. I fear for Tamriel's future if either of you were to sit upon the ruby throne. Since when do you care about your people? You never lift a finger except to count your gold. Please, yep. my lords, this bickering is pointless. What a waste of time. Obstinate fools, both of you. What a mess. Apologies, Vanus. But I'm going to check on my lion guard. Intractable fools. Yep. Their pride will see us all dead. 
We've served as the first line of defense against Molag Ball's invaders, destroying his dark anchors all across Tamriel. They've succeeded in reducing their ranks and leveling half of Cyrodiil. What do you think? Willing and able. But, like the mages will, we are constrained by a non-interference pact. The alliances will only tolerate our presence in their realms if we remain neutral. Unless all three alliance leaders consent to it. Our hands are bound. Greetings. Vanish. This is going about as well as I expected, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Even if we can get them to stop bickering, they'll never agree to send troops to Cold Harbor. That would leave Cyrodiil unprotected. Okay, so the girl leads to attack. An interesting idea, but they need to stop bickering long enough to consider it. Why don't you visit each of them in their camps? See if you can reason with them individually. So we're going to try to convince them that the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild alone will be going in. Nobody else. Save so there's no fear. Breath. I will not be swayed by some Altman Lactar. But what about the war in Syria? If I commit troops to this invasion, the pact will be vastly outnumbered there. <laughs> Wizards and mercenaries against the Daedra Hordes. Without the Evanheart Pact, they do not stand a chance. Oh yeah? What did history say about you? I should kill you where you stand. History will remember the Skull King as the bane of Moloch Ball. I will support you, foolish man. Now get out of my sight. Mm-hmm. Again, another reason why you have to make sure you have hey. intimidation and persuasion because if you don't have it, uh, certain characters won't respond. I think I did this with my uh, Argonian and I didn't have the persuasion and I couldn't persuade Queen Iran uh, to say yes. This queen of yours is spirited. I'll give her that. But she has no right to force her will upon all of Tamriel. That's more than I'm getting from them. What do you suggest? I don't doubt their commitment or their bravery, but they are few, and Molag Baal's followers are legion. Arke's beard, you're a bold one. Mm -hmm. You may be right. If you can convince the Barbarian and the Child Queen to agree, I'll consider it. And she's still probably older than you are, you f old fuck. Oh, sorry the language. But he just pisses me off. Hello. Yes, she's young, but uh, the elves do live longer than humans. And two, if you run around town and you can hear people saying that they want wanted her brother to be king, he's younger than she is. So what does that tell you? Age, as far as the elves are concerned, is not a concern. It's completely With different. With our combined strength, we might have a chance, but our distrust runs too deep. I fear we'll never reach an accord. I have no trend. What did you have in mind? Hmm. Hills. Perhaps. But we don't know enough about Cold Harbor to fully understand what they'd be up against. Can't trust the answers, and we have no other options. An excellent point. Very well. If you can convince the other leaders, you have my support. And now all hell breaks loose. Hello there. Any luck, or are they still at an impasse? I hope they come to their senses soon. We're going to lose the element of surprise. With very good reason, but the sooner they come to an agreement that... Does Wait. the air feel strange to you? That's odd. All of a sudden it feels like a storm is approaching. It's storm. I it's have strong. an ill feeling about this. Oh yeah. He has arrived. I can't. Caldian, what's happening? Go! Get away from me! Run! These are the great leaders of Tamriel. Pathetic. <laughs> but how convenient to have them gathered together in one place. 
so I can crush them like insects. No, not fall. Stay back, Countess! The insects fight back! How amusing! And yet, so very sad. All of Nern shall be mine. I forgot to keep my food again, damn it. Close the portal. My queen, are you okay? This is all they send to kill me. Truly? <laughs> I love that woman. Okay. Skull King next. Oh, one of these things. Close the portal. Miley, is she okay? My God, all dead. And now the jerk off. I mean, hacking Eric. Save his stupid butt. The situation is far worse than I could have imagined. Maybe we truly aren't safe. Duh. Damn, that moron ball. Mm -hmm. Everything we've done against the Thans, everything that's happened to our fragile alliance, was it not enough? Unfortunately not, my queen. I thought we were safe here, hidden from the enemy. The god of schemes grows more powerful by the day. Was that correctly then? There's no time to waste. We must take the fight to him. Yes, at the alien well, the center of the island. After that terrible display of power, I don't think they have much choice. Honored leaders, you have seen the face of our enemy. Molag Ball threatens every living being in Tamriel. The Mage's Guild and the Fighter's Guild have agreed to join forces to launch an assault on Cold Harbor! Trust in us. Sanction our actions. Give us your blessings. We will not let you <coughs> down. Thanos is right. The 
guilds are our best and only choice. Send them to Kolha. I hate to admit it, but I agree with Emery. As do I. It appears that much of the distrust between our alliances was sown and nurtured by the God of Schemes. Molag Bal thrives on deception and chaos. But if you'll forgive me, this alliance war is of your own making. Countess Akruba, gather the surviving members of both guilds in the Stark interior. The Champion and I will go there now to open the portal. We'll be right behind you, Vanus. The time has come, Champion. Let's go! I wish I could go with you. I've always wanted to cut down some Daedra on Molag Bal's home turf. But I have confidence you'll get the job done. Good luck. Alright, my queen. Be safe. Oh, up here. Stendar, protect us all. Right, Vanus. We're as ready as we shall ever be. Is this everyone? Unfortunately, yes. It's not the massive army we'd hoped for. But now that Molag Bal knows we're coming, a smaller group might be our only hope of slipping into Cold Harbor undetected. Yeah, let's it's do this. It's difficult to predict where you will emerge once you reach Cold Harbor. Be on your guard, my friend. Yes. Portals into oblivion uh, tend to fracture. So even though all these people are going to go into that portal, they won't all end up in the same place. This is the problem. Welcome to Cold Harbor. And looky here. Cadwell! What are you doing here? Then, have you? Jolly good. Jolly good. Rotten luck. They arrived in Cold Harbor, but in entirely different locations. Bloody unpredictable. Portals to oblivion. Not to mention Molon Ball's defensives. Nasty beasties about. Off you go. Over the bridge and head inland. There's a good chap. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. What bridge? Is there a bridge? Tricky things, <laughs> bridges. Tend to have all kinds of hideous creatures living beneath them. Except that one over there. That one leads to the Hollow City. The Hollow City? A dreadfully dull place. And a real eyesore, if you ask me. But I suppose it's where you want to start your quest. Quest! What a simply fabulous word. Quest. Quest. Quest! <laughs> I just love how it rolls off the tongue. Right, I head to the holiday. Welcome back to Cold Harbor, old chum. Jolly <laughs> good to see you. I was afraid you'd stuffed it. Welcome to the beautiful gardens of Cold Harbor. Do have a look around. Lovely day for it. Soak up the ambiance, the grandeur, the wonder of it all. I have the oddest feeling we've discussed this before, or did <laughs> I already mention it? No matter. I am Sir Cadwell, the undaunted Knight of the Court of Cold Harbor. Champion of chivalry, defender of the defenseless, shepherd to the soul shriven. Uh, am I not speaking the common tongue of learn? I was once fluent, but time does get on, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot the question, though I'm quite sure I already answered it. You really should pay more attention. <laughs> Saying that's in the north, isn't it? I don't believe I had the pleasure. <laughs> Did I? I don't recall that. But there is a bridge just ahead. Leads to the city. Rather a drab, empty place at present, but a little paint, a potted plant or two. And honestly, it's not as if you've got a lot of choices right now. So off you go. Love talking to Cadwell. He is just so crazy. Uh, before we do that, though, 
We have some place we need to visit. up or down Ah, here we are. Todd was little home. Close your little place, huh? And yes, you can fall off these things. Welcome to the hollowed city. dare to enter the Prince of Murder's realm of their own choosing. Your action consists of equal parts bravery and stupidity. I think in this case, that's exactly what we need. We've been waiting for you, Clay Walker. And who are you? You may refer to me as the groundskeeper, one of the few survivors that remain. I tend to this city. The magic that protects these walls and keeps us safe requires constant nurturing and the utmost <coughs> care. The city's original name no longer matters. Now it is a hollow city, waiting to be filled. A perfect place to begin an assault on Molag Bar. This city can be your armor against the hazards of Cold Heart. It just needs life to return it to glory. And this is where I'm supposed to gather an arm, my army? It could be. There is no safer place in Cold Hollow, for Molag Baal's reach cannot extend into the Hollow City. That is what was intended, and that is the way it is. Please walk with me. Let me show you why this city will serve your needs. Watch and listen. While I could explain things to you, it will be better to simply show you. The history of the city permeates these streets, and with a bit of magic, I can reveal it to you. 
Now come. Let us walk. Long ago, this city existed in Nero. It was alive and vibrant, and went by a different name. And you can see the Weichel Tower there. Always you can see the Tower of Cyrodiil. Its people were devoted to Prince Meridia, the Radiant One. They lived in peace and assumed themselves safe from any dangers. But Meridia has enemies, such as the despicable Molag Bar. The Prince of Murder sent minions from Cold Harbor to destroy her beloved city. The city's defenders did what they could, but they were no match for Molag Baal's forces. Everyone outside the walls was slaughtered, but the warriors and mages managed to seal the gates to protect those huddled within. As fortune would have it, the alien king Lalorian Dinar was visiting the city. A skilled warrior and tactician, he quickly took command of the city's defenses. The Aeliad King single-handedly protected one of the gates. As he fought, he prayed for assistance, and his prayers were answered. Meridia felt compassion for her followers, but she also saw an opportunity. Molag Bal's open portal worked both ways. The time had come to take the battle to Cold Harbor. Meridia warded the city and pushed it into Cold Harbor. The city arrived intact, but many of its inhabitants were either killed or scattered by this realm's protective spells. Even the alien king was captured. Still, Meridia had accomplished the impossible. She stabbed a dagger into Molag Baal's side. A portion of her realm was in his domain and he could not touch it. The survivors lost faith, however. One by one, they left the safe confines of the city to try to return to Nur. They were foolish, and they paid the price for rejecting Meridia's edicts. Meridia foresaw a day when an opportunity would arise an overconfident Molag Ball. Champions from another plane. On that day, this city would become the focal point for the assault against the Lord of Schemes. I say that the day has finally arrived. The great mage, Vanna Scalarian. The Aeliad King, and you, our last best hope. You must gather your allies and bring them here. This city shall serve you well against Molag Ball. Know that every choice you make in Cold Harbor will have an effect on the Hollow City. It shall be reborn with every person you save. Forged into a weapon by your own hands. I am your advisor. We both wish to stop Molag Ball's machinations. I offer you what help I can. The Hollow City awaits you and your allies. Use it wisely, 
and it shall not fail you. You must gather those who were lost. King Dinar and Vanus Galarian have vital roles to play, and they must be at your side. Rescue your missing companions. Return the Hollow City to its former glory, and we can begin the assault on Molrog Bar. You shall require more than just the King and the Mage, of course, but they are as good a starting point as any. Others in this realm, allies current and soon to be, all have important parts to play in this endeavor. As you seek out the Mage and the King, I'm sure you shall meet others who require your aid. Look for those you trust, and who would be willing to join us here. Go west, beyond the Moonless Walk. There you shall find the Aeliad King, held within a Tower of Darkness. Vanus the Mage is somewhere in the Eastern Plain. His exact location is hidden from me. I recommend heading west first to find the Aeliad King, but the choice is yours. If you wish to free King Dinar, you must recover the Lights of Meridia. The Lights have the power to unlock his Prison of Darkness. Originally, the Lights were a gift from Meridia, power that protected the city and made life easier for its inhabitants. When she pushed the city into Cold Harbor, she filled the lights with even more of her divine power. King Dinah is trapped within a tower of darkness, bound by shadows and dark magic. Meridia's lights can unravel those bonds. Without them, you won't be able to set the Aeliad King free. As you no doubt noticed, Morlog Bal's realm has its own defenses. Things that teleport onto this plane tend to get scattered. As were your allies. As were the lights. They could be anywhere, but most likely, they are guarded by Morlog Bal's forces. Rumors only, I'm afraid. I have heard tales of a strange prison to the northwest, a tower that is not a tower, that guards one of the lights, and others whisper of a vile laboratory to the southeast that distorts the purity of Meridia's light. Unbelievable. A spy in the Thalmor's midst. It's a good thing you were there to discover the culprit. 